Welcome back to another episode of Amanda's Kitchen. Today we're making chocolate pie with meringue. I remember my grandmother making this so many times. It is so good. I have a goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. I can do it with your help. <laughs> Anything you can do to help, you can subscribe, you can like, and you can share. That would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to watch the video all the way through. You never know, there might be some bloopers. <laughs> Be sure to look at the description below. I'll post the recipe and other tips and tricks to make the perfect pie. The first step into making this delicious pie is the pie crust. I have a store-bought pie crust that I've thawed. We're gonna just roll it out so easily and place it in our pie dish. The next step for the pie crust is we're gonna take a fork and we're gonna poke holes all in it. This allows any air bubbles to escape and it won't bubble over as much. What I'm doing now is I'm just making the edges of the pie crust look really pretty. Ooh, that ring is popping. Mm -hmm. Speaking of pretty. We're gonna bake this pie crust according to the package. Mine is 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. We're gonna keep a close eye on it. What I'm doing now is I'm going to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. To do that, we're gonna tap on the side of the bowl. And we're gonna go back and forth. What? Back and forth. So, egg white in here, eggshell, or, mm, nope, not the eggshell. The egg yolk in there. This one's the egg white. Here we go. Bloop. They actually have utensils to make this easier. Hold on, so you had egg separators this whole time, you just didn't use them. Yeah, this is an egg separator. You put the egg in here, the whole egg, The well, you crack it. The white comes out, the yolk is left in. But I wanted to do it the way my nanny did it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, you wanna do it the hard way. Yes. We've got our egg whites in here. We're gonna set them aside while we make our pie and we're gonna let these get to room temperature. All right, our pie crust is done. It's a nice golden color. We're gonna set that aside to cool. All right, so I do not own a double boiler, so I'm going to attempt to do it in my own double boiler. I've got in here about this much of an inch of water and I've got a bowl sitting on top of it. We're gonna bring that water up to a boil and then we're gonna put our ingredients in. The reason we're doing this is because we're cooking with eggs and we don't want to cook our eggs or scramble them. We want it to go in smoothly. But let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and add our dry ingredients. We've got our sugar. We've got our flour. We've got our cocoa. And we're just gonna stir that in a bit. Stir to combine. Stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. So, let's go ahead and add in our milk. Leche. And our eggs. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Pollo. It's chicken. Huevos. <laughs> <laughs> Huevos. That's it. All right. Lord. This recipe is really, really easy. It's a lot of stirring and a lot of patience. So that's what we'll do. We'll stir and we'll wait. It takes a little bit of time because we want the egg to cook slowly. We don't want to cook it like a scrambled egg. Could you use the KitchenAid for this? No, you cannot use the KitchenAid for this. But you can use the KitchenAid for the meringue, which we'll do. So, have you ever messed up before and cooked the eggs too fast? Yes, I have. Um, and the egg curdles. And it gets into chunky pieces, which is disgusting for a pie, a chocolate pie. Um, so what I ended up doing was I took a sieve with, you know, a strainer with tiny, tiny, like mesh, 
and I ended up straining it to get all those pieces out. Hey, it still tasted good, but it you don't want that to happen. Go slow. So what we're allowing this to do is we're gonna let the sugar dissolve, we're gonna let the flour thicken it up, and we're gonna let the cocoa give it the yummy chocolate flavor. I've been stirring for about eight minutes. It's starting to smell really good and chocolatey in here. It's also starting to have um, some foam on top and it's getting warmer. So what we're looking for at this point is as we stir, it's going to start to thicken up. All right, it's already starting to get a little bit thick. And so this is what my nanny used to do. She did this more with her chocolate fudge and it was a highlight of, when her, of her making it. So she would, when it started to get thick, she would check it and she would take a little bit of the filling, chocolate pie filling, and she would let it run down the plate. And if it was too runny, it wasn't done yet. And so what I would do as a little kid, little girl, I got the taste test. And it's still my favorite thing to do. Back to stirring and whisking. All right, it's time to test again. So it will thicken up even more as it cools, but see how it's much slower? That means it's thickening up. What shape do you see? I see a Snoopy with hair. Do you see it? It's like a little horse man. <laughs> All right. <Ooh>. We <laughs> We're gonna add our vanilla. Since we've taken it off the heat, and we're gonna add in our lump of butter. And what the butter does is it creates a silky, smooth texture. And then the vanilla, well, it just adds so much flavor. We're gonna let that melt and stir in. All right, so now that we've got our baked pie crust and we've got our cooked pie filling. We're going to pour the filling into the pie crust. It is chocolatey, silky smooth. It's meringue time. So we've got our egg whites that have been coming to room temperature. We're going to get our attachment on here, our mixer attachment technical name mixer attachment and we're gonna let those go until they become frothy and bubbly I can see bubbles forming okay so I this recipe actually calls for cream of tartar I don't have cream of tartar so um, I looked it up and it said you can use a few drops of lemon juice because cream of tartar brings acidity to the egg whites. So that's what we're going to do. Now that the egg whites are starting to have some foam to them, we're just going to add a few drops of lemon juice. And we're going to turn this up to a higher speed. <laughs> I turned it on a little too high. <laughs> now that our egg whites have become frothy and they're beginning to expand, we're going to slowly add our sugar a little bit at a time. We want the sugar to dissolve, but we don't want to weigh it down too quickly. See if we have soft peaks. And I do believe that we do. Looks like Cool Whip or something. Yes, it's there. We go. That's pretty. It's pretty thick. That'll work. Whoa. Mhm. Mm okay. 
Time to add it to the chocolate pie. Our meringue is complete. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of just plop it onto our pie. We're going to smooth it around as best we can. And actually, in this case, the messier the better. It's okay that this is really messy because what we're gonna do is put it under a broiler and brown the top of it and it's any part that's sticking up will get brown first. You'll see, you'll see how pretty it looks too. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. The broiler is on and we're just gonna let this, we're gonna check on this constantly. You can see where it's starting to brown. We're gonna let it keep going for just a few seconds. It smells like toasted marshmallows. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> this is my favorite pie. Time to give this a try. I cannot wait. Mm. It tastes like home. That crust, the chocolate filling, the meringue on top, delicious. Mm -hmm.